Hey everyone, today we're going to make an fish and chips. And by chips I mean ruffles. So let's see how it goes. So I'm going to make this fish a couple different ways. It's two pieces. Um, it's called cod loin. It's from BJ's. Used to eat tilapia. I like tilapia. Then I found it so bad for you because it was like farm raised. So the consensus was, you know, do a cod or salmon and that's better. It also depends where it comes from. But I'm not going to get into that because I'm not an expert on that. So first things first is uh, eat an egg. I'm going to crack that open. Oh boy, did I crack that open. One big piece of shell. That's good. Nothing much there. I'm going to add a little kosher salt to that uh, egg. Uh, normally I would salt the fish itself, but this might make it a little bit easier. Put a teaspoon in there. My mother had said to me, you know, if you're just going to flavor water for boiling pasta, use the cheap, you know, iodized salt, but she likes using the kosher salt for in cooking itself. So we'll beat that up and we're going to let that sit a little bit so that uh, the uh, salt itself fully dissolves. And the two ways we're going to do this is they're both going to get a, a, a dip of uh, flour and then egg. And then the one with the egg will just go in as one. And the second one, we're then going to um, treat the, the batter here with the flour. We're going to do flour, egg, and then we're going to do a, a mixture of a little cheese, salt, and stuff like that in there. We'll see how that turns out. So let's open up this package of fish. So piece of fish, good size. Put some flour on there. Probably gonna have to add more for the other piece. That's all right. Rather not waste. Get that in the egg. And get that in there. And that's one piece. Grab the other piece. in there. Flour, I should say. Put some in the egg. And I gotta add some more to this. I don't know why I'm making it so difficult. I picked up these gloves here. Uh, Gorilla Gloves. There's 500 in here and it was pretty cheap money. Um, maybe it was uh, 8 or 10 bucks. I don't know. But when I'm using this batter, this is just gonna make cleanup a lot easier. Life very lightweight bpa free so um you know rather than wasting so much water trying to peel off that i'm polluting another way add a tiny bit more flour not much and add a little cheese and just add some pepper i think i'm not going to do the other stuff i want to actually taste the fish here Stir this all up. And dip this in here. And again, I forgot to put on the gloves, but that's okay. We're still going to need them. So this is uh, this. I'm going to put this in here. Some of that batter. Force it in the crevices there. Get this glove on. Mm, large gloves, but they're a tight fit. Okay, so we're gonna pull out that piece of uh, just uh, egg piece back out. I'm gonna re dip it in egg a little bit. I'm gonna get some just some Progresso Italian style breadcrumbs. I want to try to find some of the panko, I think it's Japanese breadcrumbs. I had some of those before and those were pretty good, but um, my local BJ's only had the regular stuff. So I'll have to make a special trip to uh, one of those other places. Let's go. Now, if I had a third piece, I would have just did a little salt and pepper, but this is just the way it's gonna have to be for now. All right. Hey, you got the two kinds of fish. You got one battered and you got one breaded. Probably can't see that too well, but 
Alright, I haven't cooked uh, fish in a while, so I'm going to have to play by ear on the time. Put this in. Go to the fish setting, which is, uh, oop, that's not fish. There we go, fish, which is 370 at uh, 25 minutes. Sounds a little long, so again, we're going to play it by ear and get this going. Now, before I press this when you can't hear me, sometimes I'll melt some butter. And uh, when I'm flipping uh, the breaded fish over, I'll put some melted butter on to bake that in. So uh, maybe we'll do that too. One thing I forgot to do is spray a little oil on the top. All right, this has been in here for about six minutes. I'm gonna just take a peek, see if I gotta flip it yet. The breadcrumbs on this side aren't uh, crispy enough, so I'm going to take it as a sign to put it back in. And I'm going to spritz it actually a little bit more. Alright, let's take another look. Alright, now it's time to flip that. So I think I might do is pull this out, put it on a plate, flip it, and then put it back in. It's on a plate. And the only reason why is it's tough to get the spatula in there. I don't know if this is going to make it better or worse, though. Okay, that was actually not too bad. And that wasn't too bad. All right, so now we're going to spritz both of these. some extra virgin olive oil. So I'm also going to put some of that melted butter on. Oh my god, look at that. And you know what? Put some on here too. So maybe I didn't need to put the uh, spritz in. Let's get that back in. Success! So this has been going a total of about seven minutes. Uh, I just flipped it, and uh, we're gonna let it go another four or five minutes, and when that breadcrumb looks like it's cooked and that batter looks like it's cooked, we're gonna take it out, let it sit a minute, and give it a try. I can smell the fish, it smells pretty good. Uh, I'm not a big fish fan. Uh, I like the tilapia, uh, the taste and the texture, but I heard it was bad, uh, you know, the way it's farmed and raised. Um, I like deep fried breaded shrimp. Uh, and I also like smelts, they're small fish. Um, but, uh, you know, this is kind of a new thing for me, taste and time-wise, so we're gonna see how it turns out, and we're gonna be pulling this out in just a minute. All right, these have been in here for uh, just about 11, 12 minutes. We're gonna take it out to see how it looks. I've already flipped it once. It's getting there. I'm gonna leave it in there another minute or two. All right, so these are done. Let's take a quick look, or we hope they're done. Yeah, that looks done. So here we got the fish with the breadcrumbs, and this is the batter I made, which was simply uh, flour, uh, cheese, and some salt and pepper, nothing fancy. And uh, we're gonna give this a try. So here's the fish. I'm gonna give the breadcrumbs the first try. Not bad, not bad at all. Hmm. Okay, I'm liking it. The butter definitely helps. I'm gonna try the uh, the one with the uh, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. The one with the flour and the cheese and the salt and the pepper. Ooh, hot. <clears throat> I 
think I like the one with the breadcrumbs better, but uh, it's also very hot, so it's hard to taste it. It's still good though. I like the breadcrumb ones better though. See? Mmm. Now I can really taste the butter and the other stuff in there too. Um, so this is this is pretty good. I would definitely cook it this way again. But I probably do it without the batter. I probably do it more with the breadcrumbs. Now the big question is whether Donna is gonna try it. She's not a big fish fan. Oh Donna! Yes. I have a farka for you. Do you want to be surprised or do you want to be uh No, I'll just, I'll just she's gonna just try the one with the breadcrumbs. Good move. Yeah, she doesn't like fish. That's okay. More for me, right? Mm. That's good. And it made very little mess in the air fryer. Um, so it's very, very little cleanup. So anyway, I'm gonna say this is a success as well. Um, if you like this video, Please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next one. Oh my God. I almost forgot. The chip spot. Now it's complete. Thanks again.